10,000 people <laughs> having a party for your grandmother, the Queen, and you're, you're in charge. Yeah, it didn't start off as a, it didn't start <laughs> off like this. Um, it, it very much started off as something we wanted to do in terms of um, celebrating her, the, her patronages. She's a patron of over 600 organisations. Uh, and they'd never been brought together before as, and to celebrate her and also to celebrate what they do in all of our communities. So we came up with the idea and then, and then it sort of snowballed into the fact of when are we going to do this and then it sort of said well would it be good to fit it around her, her 90th birthday celebrations. So, so that's, that's where we ended up. So it's called the Patron's Picnic, for that reason. Patron's Lunch, yeah. Patron's Lunch, sorry. I think the Patron's Picnic, well, we'll have a, go back and make a note of that. <laughs> <laughs> change all I'll the change, headings I'll change now. all our marketing Change plans. everything, yeah. yeah okay. Kate came as a picnic blanket today. <laughs> I'm ready, oh, you've if got you need me. you got picnic on the brain. Yeah, yeah, you can yeah. borrow it. But, yeah, so, and you're giving a bulk of tickets to those charities, aren't you, and to charities generally yeah. to either raise money for themselves for or to give to people within their charities. Correct. Yeah. I mean, this is a... The, uh, Essentially, this is this is a platform for these for the um, charities and organisations that the Queen is patron to be able to celebrate the fact that she is their yeah. patron, and that she um, and and also to celebrate what they do and shout from the rooftops that mm. actually you know we're really proud to have the Queen as as our patron, Quite and and. I think you know the Mall is is just a small part of what we hope to be a sort of a nationwide event because all these organisations have fantastic network um, throughout our throughout the country and the Commonwealth and hopefully they will be able to put on their own events around the country and get everyone everyone involved yeah. um, in all our communities. And on the day itself, what can people expect? Because I know that a lot of the, I mean it's going to be a fabulous day. It sounds like what what are the what's going to be happening on the Mall and, and around the well the Mall's never hosted a sit down lunch for ten thousand people for. <laughs> never done a street party which I thought was rather strange given it's the most iconic street yeah. in, the, in the country um, but they, they obviously they'll have their own individual picnics there'll be a carnival type entertainment um, to keep people to keep people entertained and uh, and it will just be a really fun um, celebration at the end of a weekend of where you have the national service of Thanksgiving on the Friday trooping of color on the Saturday and then we're on the Sunday so you sort of have the you, the religious the state yeah. element and then we're really we're really trying to put on sort of that that more of a, a celebration, um, carnival type mm. celebration. Yeah. So, you know, you're doing this for the Queen, who's also your grandma. Well, I always think it's fascinating. I can't imagine, was there ever a moment for you when you were growing up? Obviously, you went to visit your grandma. Um, was there a moment when you suddenly thought, hang on a minute, my grandma's someone quite important, she's the Queen. Can you remember sort of becoming aware of what she meant to the rest of the country at any point? Um, no, not really. I mean, it, you, I guess it's a little strange if you're growing up with that sort of thing. Yeah. You, you, there's never really that sort of moment you go, oh, wow. Um, but, um, you know, we were obviously, we had great fun um, at, on our holidays going to stay, stay with at Sandringham and, and at Balmoral and Windsor. Um, and, you know, we were, we were incredibly lucky to be able to share a lot of our childhood time with her. Um, and she's just, she's such an inspiration not only to the country but also to us as a family. Mm. Yeah. Um, you know, her, her work ethic and her dedication has, has, is something that I think the whole family has always aspired mm. to, to at least get somewhere near, yeah, let alone, let alone be. energy, doesn't she? Yeah. What do you call her? What do you call your granny? Um, I've got, uh, yeah, grandma and granny. Yeah, my mum's a granny. There yeah. you go. There um, those <laughs> I always thought, I always thought um, that actually as a, as a young child being able to visit those incredible places and I was lucky enough to meet your mum at Buckingham Palace when we had a dinner for the Motor Neuron Disease Foundation, which she's a uh, patron of. Yeah. Um, uh, talking about how much fun it must have been to play hide and seek in a castle. Yeah. I mean, it would have been. I imagine Yun Zara must have had so much fun growing up in that sort of environment and being able to make the most of that. Incredible. Uh, we, we had we had a lot of fun. I mean, there's uh, and there's a lot of space for kids to run around with. But it wasn't just us. It was the you know the Waleses and um, Freddie and Ella Windsor and the Gloucesters. And so there was quite a gang of us yeah. growing up in yeah. that age. And um, it was it was a lot of fun. Um, we, we caused quite a bit of um, mayhem <laughs> and chaos. But uh, fortunately, we don't think we broke too much. Yeah. When you played sword fighting, there were always the old uh, suit of armour kicking around <laughs> to grab yeah, they, they, they drew the line of taking things off the wall. <laughs> oh, OK. OK, fair enough. Will, uh, will your girls be at the, uh, at the celebrations for the 93rd year of the street party? The fa whole family going to be there? Well, we'll, 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 see, we'll, see, we'll see how we progress. But um, cer certainly this is the idea of the event is that it's for 
all age groups. It's for as many people to join in as possible. We're going to have big screens in Green Park and St James's Park, which people can come and enjoy the atmosphere for free. Um, mm -hmm. And we hope that people will just get around the country. They will they will host their own their own street parties and hopefully raise a bit of money or commit a bit of time to their own communities because mm. this is about communities and it's about getting together and just giving a little bit a little bit back to uh, each each of our communities. And there will be a small ballot as well, won't there? Because if you're not yeah. associated with the charities, uh, and I think this is where the £150 ticket price has come through. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we, the, the, we, as I said, we wanted to try and open this up to as many people as possible. Um, and, and so there will be a public ballot and give, give people the opportunity to apply to come along and join in the fun and festivities on the Mall. But again, if you can't make it to the Mall, you know, the, it, there will be big screens. And hopefully, if you can't make it to London at all, there will be opportunities to host your own event around the country. Fab. All right. Lovely to speak. Thank you so much for coming, Peter. Really, yeah. really great to see you. Thank you for having me. Thanks. Fantastic.